Welcome back. This is still the master cash book exercise template. Last video we discussed the cash flow report. But in this video, I want to show you. So um, the other report we have the GL. You can see here is still empty, no data here. We have the cash books ledger. We have the pivot dashboard. All these three sheets are pivot tables. Pivot tables are um, Excel built um, tables that generate from a data set. So in this case, a data set is the master cash book. So I'm going to show you how to generate this report. They are very, very simple and very easy. So what you do each time you update this master cash book, you come here, you right click anywhere on the table and you see the command button for refresh. Once you refresh this, it will refresh all the other tables that are linked to the master cash book. So we'll come here and refresh. Wait for it. You can see your data is now updated. We have our general ledger. We have the bank loan with one transactions, negative balance, that's a credit balance, and the PV number. We have the computer accessories that was purchased flash drive on the date. The account was purchased from the PV number and the amount. We have all the contract entries that have been done on the master cash book, which will give us a zero balance. You can track how you move funds from one bank to the other or from bank to your petty cash. We have other, other accounts like fuel and oil. We have the date of, of purchase that so you pay the, for, for it with cash. We have the descriptions or narrations. We have the cash account or bank you paid for, the PV number and the amount in positive. Negative amount means credit and positive amount means debit for those are accountants. We have functional and fittings. We have all the other ledgers. You can give your auditors this report if you are running on cash basis only. So these are all your cash transactions based on different account heads. The last one is salary and wages. We now have the cash book ledgers. So why this one shows you all the different account heads that you paid money from, usually the expenses head and the assets. Why this cash book ledger shows you the cash book now. This is the fine bank limited. These are the dates, the narrations, the account that it went to, the virtual number and the amount. So any positive amounts are inflows, while negative are outflows. Positives are inflows into the cash or bank account while negatives are payments you've made out of the bank and cash account. We have your, your balance here for this bank for the 3 million. The next bank, you have your opening balances, your inflows and your outflows. So all your inflows here are your debits which are your positive values while the outflows are your negative values. So we have everything here in your cash book we have the balance and so on of the petty cash all details you can just can actually print this out as your cash book this is a summary sheet from your master cash book what it does here is that it separates your cash and bank account into their own individual cash book ledger on the master cash book everything is lumped together you record them as they happen from various banks but in your cash book ledgers the system helps you to separate the ledgers. Your petty cash is separate. You will see all the transactions by date, the account um, uh, account code they went to, the PV numbers, and the, all the ad flows. Ad flows in negative, inflows in positive. You can see everything you have here, and you see your total balance is 71 million, which is what we we'll have in our you know summary here, the um, chart of account summary here. The same thing we have in our cash flow. You know 71 million is the same thing we have here so everything is working perfectly well and finally we we'll look at the dashboard which gives us insights into your overheads you know expenses monthly cash outflows see in january we we'll spent more you know on the direct cost we we'll spent um, more also on fixed asset and less on overhead it shows you your legends everything to look at here look at your direct cost this asset overhead total for the each of the month up to 11th month 
and the art flow bar showing you the um, size of your art flow per you know month here shows you different account heads and their summaries you can see them here while on your right hand side we have the top 10 customers in flow you know all your customers the top 10 will show you here which are the top which are what you have on this table also your inflow bar shows your top 10 inflows from different customers there you go master can book a certain template unique templates that work as if it's a software it gives you all the reports you need for a cash management system and also give you insight into where ma your major expenses are, are going to like we have some of your expenses here showing us your your major expenses you know showing on this particular chart here thank you next video will give you a summary of everything we've done on this uh, master cash book i have an overview of how the template works thanks and see you next time bye